even remembered how she was bad at everything. She started to lose the fight right away. Nobody liked her. The end. I don't know what's going on, Dicey. I feel... I feel like garbage all of a sudden. Oh, Dicey, you're pretty great too. Thanks, buddy.
did you see that? Even walls you know. Oh, it was delicious to see.
bitch. That's, it's impossible. They cancel out. Okay, so if we allow each fighter in an arena to... Come on, Rule Master, you can do this! You're the best, remember? The best! You can do the impossible five times before breakfast. And the queen asks for six. Even. Even. Yes! Every even roll gets a plus one bonus against every odd roll. That'll... Wait, no. That just turns all even rolls into odd rolls. Oh, never mind. Wait. Who are you? You're the one with the card, right? Even something? The alchemist told me you'd be coming. And I'm sorry even with the card, but I've simply got too much to do to help you. <laughs> help me? Nobody can help me. The queen insists that everything I do for her be done by me personally. No subcontracting allowed. Look at this. New layouts for her twisted arenas. Do ASAP, of course. New mechanics for the battles due last week, assigned yesterday. Five. Five new robots with complementary battle bot attack structures! And you try telling the queen, or her bloody nanny, or even those deadly three heads, that they ask for the impossible. Ha! I may be an ancient mystic trained in the art of crazy rules more than anyone else in all of history, but even I'm not a god. I've come to accept that now. But does she care? Tell me, does she? Everything is important! <sighs> Look, your card has arrived in here somewhere, and I'll get to it when I can. Oh, you've seen him too? What's that bloody cosmic potato come up with this time? Let's take a look at your card. Oh, perfect. Just perfect! As if I didn't have enough insanity on my plate already. Ooh, but then I do love a challenge. So, what the heck? I'll do it. When I'm done, I'm going to send the card to the highest point in all of five Tropolis. The top of the giant chimney. You'll be dead in minutes. You need the five of us card makers there with the card if you want any chance of success. Up there, me and the other card makers will imbue the card with all our creative spark. But the ceremony cannot be interrupted. Even, just meet us at the top of the smokestack. The card will be there. Assuming this works, You'll have bigger things to worry about real soon. Yes. No. Yes. There. I mean, I guess it could work. Well, what's done is done. Now hurry. I'll be right with you. from old Manny Dex. This one. Treason, treachery, perfidy. He even had sown the seeds of insurrection all around her. But now this vile, hateful creature was on her way to discover why she should have respected her equal. And never betrayed her queen. Ceremony begins. There is others coming, friends. Lots of others. Mm, keep them back. And focus. Child, cover us! Speak ahead. 
get to the end of this story, shall we? Oh, look at that! It says, even lost and died alone and unloved. The end. I've never seen an ending so accurate, while at the same time also being so deeply, deeply satisfied.
Return them. We've done it. The rest is up to you. And more robots are coming, love. Oh, so how does it work? You can only use it in your dreams, child. I have to fall asleep? My dream card. Of course. All I need to do is sleep. Okay, even you can do this. It's like Uma taught you. Relax. Deep breath. The dread I've been feeling, it's gone. I don't know. Something's still missing. But Dicey, I know we're moving in the right direction. Whoa. It's not like anything I've seen before. Okay, I don't think they spotted us. This doesn't look right, but it's got to be the place. The Grand Gate to Sixtopia. Huh? What? What happened here? I don't understand. Is this really it? Maybe this is like a fake Sixtopia, meant to confuse invaders or something? Good morning, lovelies! 
Good morning, Charles. Why don't you look handsome today? <laughs> oh, heck, I'm just the same old man I always was. But bless your heart for lying, lovelies. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, you're here too, Albert. Hey, ugly. I'm a big, stupid cardboard person. And I'm Charles's least favorite because I'm a mean, stupid idiot who falls apart all the time. Yes, yes, Albert. We're all familiar with your whole deal. Excuse me, uh, Charles? See? Ha ha ha! We've been here for 60 years. You ought to know what's going on by now. Yeah, what gives? <laughs> Though, of course, not much actually does go on here. <laughs> you stand around and I fix you when you fall apart. Easy. Easy peasy. Cutouts? Why, that's a fine way to refer to yourself. Don't be rude. Besides, would a cardboard cutout start talking to me five years into my job here? <laughs> It would not! And since you lovelies have been talking to me every day since, let's just say I know you're all more than what you seem. <laughs> Even if Albert here keeps losing his head over this. Huh, you love it! Of course you are, obviously. You're all real here. No, we're real. If we were fake, could my head fall off all the time? Oh, no, no, no. Don't you dare, Albert. I've had enough of that for today by far. Alone? Ha! <laughs> I'm surrounded by friends here. <laughs> There's Bedelia, Claude. Lord 2, Snuggle Buns, 8 Ball, Big Tony, Little Tony, Average Tony, The Hated Albert. <laughs> Boingy Woingy, Peanut Butter and Jam, they're twins. <laughs> Don, Donner, Donist, Don Ultimate, Don Penultimate, Don Ultra Penult, Don... Well, I don't need to tell you their names. We've all been here forever. <laughs> What do you mean, I'm not real? Oh, now look what you've done. You've hurt Bedelia's feelings. There, there, Bedelia. Oh, she says mean things. I know, I know. I'm going to talk to her about it, okay? But you're real. We're all real here. You... You, you, you don't talk like the others, do you? She sure doesn't. Should we be suspicious, Charles? I'm very suspicious. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine to be curious, lovelies. Eh? Yeah, my earliest memory. Hmm. It's when my head first fell off, 40 years ago. <sighs> No, it's when me and Patty Cakes got married 50 years ago. <laughs> no. No. It was when I was young. Just... just a child, really. The nanny came for me in that... that... that chariot that walked like a spider. She dropped me here. Told me my only task in life was to take care of these props. She said my fate was never to be anything more than a forgotten janitor. And then she disappeared, and she never came back. But all I've done for every day of my life since then was live here alone, so profoundly alone, surrounded only by these, these parodies of life. Mocking me every hour of every day with their ageless faces and painted on smiles and I... <laughs> or so I thought. 
stupid, then five years into it, you all started talking to me and you've never stopped since. <laughs> And now you're an old man surrounded by friends who'll never die. Ha <laughs> ha, sure am, lovelies. <laughs> Ain't that a blessing? <laughs> Why, I must be the luckiest guy in the whole world. Woohoo! <laughs> Not ever. I pass through sometimes. That hardly counts. They go to the tower. Look, I don't want to talk about it. Nenny's chariot passes through on its way to the tower. The children get quieter and quieter as the chariot moves away. Then we never hear them again. Oh, how I could visit them in the tower. What quiet fun they must be having. The nanny? No, not in any way that counts. That's true. Her chariot goes by sometimes, but it only goes up to the tower. Up there. We hear nothing. How can they be so quiet? They're enjoying quiet, fun times, Albert, and that's all I will hear on the subject. Then she's playing up in the tower all day long. How lucky. <laughs> uh, wait. Why would the Queen want the nanny to take one of us cardboard cutouts? It's never happened before. Maybe she isn't really a cardboard cutout like us. <laughs> no, she is. She's just lost her mind, that's all. I'm humoring her, see? <laughs> Tell me about your sister, lovely. <laughs> now, lovely. I learned long ago it's best not to make promises to yourself you can't keep. Now, where have I heard that name before? Oh, yes! Odd! The Queen graced us with her presence not too long past, and she had a girl with her. Odd, she called her. She wore a white mask, I remember. She looked strange. Strangely happy, yes, as are we all. <laughs> they didn't have time to acknowledge any of us, of course. She's very busy, but they went out that way, right through there. Well, I won't stop you, cardboard lady. <laughs> but hey... Say hi to the queen for me. <laughs> Reminder, I'm here. I'm still here. Ah, it's horrible. The glassy is made out of, uh, I don't know, despair. <laughs> don't get it on you, buddy. This must be it. A tower. What's inside there, Dicey? <laughs> I can just feel it. She has to be. We've come so far, haven't we? But I still... I don't know for sure what you want me to do. All bets are off when you've got a new card from old Maddie Dex. This one. Yeah, mate, let's trade cards. Sometimes I feel like it's my sole purpose in life. <laughs> oi, oi, looking to get an invincibility potion, are you? Well, you've come to the wrong place. I've got cards, though. <laughs> There's the face of a girl who wants to trade cards. Oh, I've got good news for you. 
Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't. It's the sudden stop at the end that I'm worried about. I see. I feel it too, Dicey. You get close to it and it's like every bone in your body is warning you to keep away. It smells the goo, almost as like it's living or used to be alive. Cards on the table. This is a bit outside my normal rounds, and not at all what I was expecting. But now you're here, and Maddie Dex is playing a sympathy card. You've got to buy something, mate. Please. Oh, Maddie doesn't try to understand the world. All I understand is cards. And I understand now that perhaps you're looking to trade. You never know who's listening, mate. Now, let's trade and forget all about any treasonous thoughts, eh? Thank <laughs> you. 
Seymour, is that you? Seymour? Seymour! Is he... <laughs> You're alive! Oh, is that you even? I was just resting my eyes. <laughs> Seymour, your eyes. They didn't even make it about a number. They just took all three. I'm gonna get you out of here. <coughs> no, even you can't. There's too many. You'll never be able to. <laughs> what are you doing? Careful, even. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
even tougher than I knew, even. Uh, Nanny Fortuna happened to me, I'm afraid. She caught me in Forberg, captured me, tried to get me to talk about you, but I didn't tell them anything, even. Told them my name was Seymour, not Talkmore. <laughs> that's when... That's when she started taking my eyes. But what about you, even? I, I thought you were going home. W what made you change your mind? Realized what? And I think you're big enough to meet it, even. The Queen. She's more powerful than you think. And from what I've overheard, your sister has changed. She won't be what you expect. Oh, I'm sorry, even. About all of this, we adults messed up the world and somehow it's been left to you to fix. A child sent to face off against the most twisted and dangerous being in random, and it, it's not right. I'm sorry I can't stop you, even. And I'm sorry I can't help. There is. Whatever's happened to your sister, I, I don't think it's gone all the way yet. Just be careful. There's nothing I can do to help you now, especially given my uh, current condition. to do is survive Nanny and the Queen and her minions and we'll fix everything. Let's go. Hey, whoa. Seymour, you're you're in no condition to fight. You need to rest. Hey, I can't let you do it alone. I'm not alone. Seymour, when this is all over, there will always be a place for you in one town. I'd uh I'd like that even. Never. 